Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I want to do a recap of my Dutch video and I started looking at an advice, the Raad van State, which is an advisory organ in the Dutch government. They want to add more restriction to the permanent law they're trying to work on now. They want to do a proposal for that, what's been going on the past two years, because all the restrictions here in the Netherlands were based on temporary law. And uh, they didn't want to, the uh, parliament didn't want to support that anymore. So they have to come up with a permanent law. And according to the, well, I think it's like state council, but I'm not sure if that is the correct term for it. But they wanted more restrictions. They wanted to be able um, to shut down schools, uh, impose a clock and the pass. They want that one back as well. So this is interesting. Of course, this organ is not working for the Dutch people. More and more information is coming out that all these restrictions are nonsense. It's not, they haven't helped at all. But I just wanted to look at the energy of this, uh, this proposal. What's, been go what's going on? Why is this coming out now? So this is interesting. The first card I got was the Fool. The central card is the Six of Pentacles. The card in the past is the Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the central card is the Wheel of Fortune. And then for the near future, we have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. To me, these are the two most interesting cards because there's going to be a lot of resistance towards this. And especially the pass and the clock is really, the pass is just there to uh, exclude certain people. So there's going to be a lot of uh, resistance. I believe that it's purposely done to uh, show that to uh, how do you say that uh, the wheel of fortune is really turning things in motion and i do believe that this is done on purpose to really create a new energy concerning this law or this proposal and i'm not even sure if it's going to get this far especially with the hermit it's almost like people are pulling away from this proposal so i'm not sure if it's going to get through anything but there's going to be a massive amount of resistance towards this and like I said, more and more things are coming out that these restrictions really had no effect whatsoever. It's not based on anything. People are noticing and it's, I think this is about showing people again. This is not for the truthful community, not for the people that already know what's going on. This is again opening people's eyes, creating a new balance. It's very interesting, but showing people what's really going on the organization at least the government is not working for the people of the netherlands and let's face it worldwide most governments are not working for the people who they're supposed to be working for but there's going to be a lot of resistance and that's exactly the point it's creating resistance it's creating understanding what's really going on and it's opening up new possibilities it's actually going to get us to a new energy. It's going to change direction. So that's interesting. I do believe that this entire narrative is going to collapse pretty soon. I'm not sure, sure when. Time is very difficult to tell, but we're already seeing this narrative falling apart, people coming out. There's more, you can read in the media, more things that in Dutch media at least, and especially in America, you can read a lot of things that all these restrictions were horrible closing down schools the the uh how many children are now behind but just the the psychological damage that's been done it's just massive it's shocking these restrictions and all these things that are happening the second thing i was looking at was something i read about pope that is actually uh how to say that he has ordered all money from regular banks to the Vatican Bank, which is very interesting. And he wants it done before the end of September. Very interesting. What does he know <laughs> that we don't know? But the cards that I got was the Knight of Wands. The central card is the Page of Pentacles. In the past, we have the Ace of Cups. Underneath the central card, we have the Seven of Cups. And then for the near future, we have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. So to me, to me, this is the, a white hat operation, at least there behind this. I don't believe that the Pope is there anymore. I have no idea 
who this is or who's playing him, doesn't really matter. This is about changing the system and this is about a clear sign. I do think that this is a chess game they're playing uh, against, of course, the dark energies that they're showing this now. This is, is, it is about collapsing the financial system. We all know it's going to collapse. Make sure you have uh, something, uh, you know, in uh, just some food, uh, some cash money. Just make sure that you're prepared just in case something happens. But we know it's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. But this is a clear sign from the White Hats to the Dark Energies and to see how they're going to respond to this. I do believe that most of the money from the Vatican is already in the hands of the White Hats. And this is just showing. It's, it's almost like seeing how people are going to react, how the dark energies are going to react. And it's a clear sign that they've taken away most of the money from the dark energies. They've uh, closed down a lot of their illegal trades. They've taken care of a lot of things, just making sure they don't have access to it anymore. They are still capable of doing things, but very on a smaller scale. The past years, I do believe that they've been trying to make sure that certain threats they, they were still capable of in, in neutralizing that. And uh, we really are, like I've mentioned before, and a lot of other people in this end phase. And this is a clear sign. It can still be confusing for people what's going on. Something's going to happen, but it's a clear sign. And I do believe that we are at the end of this old financial system. A lot of things are going to happen quickly in the near future, in the future, and we're moving away from this system. I do believe that the new system is already working side by side with the old system. We have to wait and see what's going to happen. But to me, this is a clear sign to the dark energies. We're taking away everything from you. That's the sign they're giving off. And we'll have to wait and see how they're going to respond. The dark energies, like I've mentioned, they still got, they can still do damage on a smaller scale. You have to understand that. But we're moving away from this old system. We're moving away from this old financial system, this, this dark energy, this corrupt system. And like I've mentioned, I do believe that most of the money from the Vatican is already taken care of. Most of the gold is already taken care of by the White Hats. They already took care of that and brought it somewhere else so the dark energies don't, uh, they can't use it anymore. And I think that's been going on for quite some time. They've been taking care of all these financial, um, how do you say that? With the dark energies, how they got their money, they've been closing it off. All these trades all these things they've been going on all these budgets that were in the dark that no one had a clue about the white heads have been trying to take control over it and i do believe that most of it has been taken over and this is a clear sign to me so this is interesting but a lot of things are going to happen so we're going to see things quickly especially the financial system i think happening doesn't mean that the crash is going to be next week i don't know just be prepared, things can happen, but trust that ultimately everything will be all right. The last one was again looking at something here in the Netherlands, which is very interesting because the city, there are 118 city councils are going to show the flag of Klaus from those sustainable goals from the World Economic Forum on the 23rd of September. In showing, uh, how do you say this, their um, involvement with these global goals. And uh, it's apparently the birthday of these uh, sustainable goals, I believe. And uh, they're showing their support. So on the 23rd of September, all these city councils, or they're doing something uh, with the flags showing their support, which is very interesting. We have a prime minister that's been saying that this World Economic Forum is just facilitating things. They are not doing anything. And now we have city councils showing themselves uh, implementing these goals. And I personally, I had to laugh about this. I do think that 
if you, uh, how do you say that? There are so many times they're trying to say, this is a, you know, just, just a conspiracy. This is not going on. And then they've got 118 city councils in the Netherlands saying, yes, we actually follow those goals. We follow Klaus with his great reset. So that is interesting. I do believe, and that's of course what the dark energies always do, that they have these people, they show these, yeah, we have to work on the climate, we have to help and support Earth. And there are a lot of people that truly believe this. They truly believe they're doing a good thing. That's what the dark energies do. They show you one side, but in the meantime, they have a completely different goal. And especially with the farmers here in the Netherlands who are really starting to understand that this really is about getting rid of all the farmers and uh, eating insects and uh, creating food hubs and creating some kind of city that is completely built in. That's really what they want. They have completely different plans, but a lot of people just see the front and then think, oh, this is such a great goal. We have to do this. There are a lot of people at the city councils who really think they're doing a good job, unfortunately. And of course, there are puppets from the dark energies there as well. Knowingly, uh, they, they are aware of this dark agenda, but they're kind of pushing the, the good agenda and, and thinking, you know, just look at this. We're really doing this for the climate. And Let's face it, a lot of things are coming out. There's really nothing wrong with the climate. And uh, there is a lot of nonsense going on there. And really, this isn't about the climate for the dark energy. This is about control. This is about getting rid of the farmers, getting uh, all this land, building it full, get, creating these food hubs, make sure nobody has, uh, uh, you know, you don't own anything and you'll be happy. They've got a completely different agenda and ultimately transhumanism. That's what this is about. They want to create this hybrid human robot that they can fully control and fully act towards what they want. They want it linked up. I'm probably going to do another video about that. I've already done a video about transhumanism a long time ago. But that's their ultimate agenda. It goes even further than just taking over everything. They really want humanity to, uh, how do you say this, create this new hum humanity that's pretty much more technological, uh, technology than biological. So I just want to take a look at these uh, city councils and they're going to show the flag and apparently do something about that day that's about the sustainable goals. So I just wanted to see what this is about. We have the Four of Wands. That's an interesting card. We've got the Eight of Pentacles as the central card. We've got the Moon in the past. Underneath the central card, we've got the Hanged Man. And for the near future, which I find very interesting, the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups, which are, in a way, if you just look at the quite happy cards, this card is quite positive as well. So I actually think this is going to... Uh, how to say get people together I think there's going to be more talk and uh, I've mentioned in my Dutch video city councils there are a lot of people living in the city of course that work in the city council in the villages so it's a lot more easy to uh, talk to these people than the puppets in The Hague who are far away from us so I think this will actually get people together and there'll be more talking it's, it's very strange that we have a cele celebration card here, but I think more and more people are going to get together and maybe talk about this and more uh, information will be exchanged. If you do want to talk to people in, the, in your city council, be nice, be polite, be kind, but you can show them things if you want to and maybe even send it to them and you can even get them on the phone because they are a lot more approachable than, like I mentioned, the puppets in The Hague. So, and like I've said, there are a lot of people there who really don't have a clue. Maybe they don't want to hear it. That's of course up to them. That actually believe in what they're doing. That's what the dark energies do. But I'm sure there are some puppets there as well from the dark energies. But people can see them now. It's going to be very clear. So I actually think that this will lead to other things. That this actually will lead to people starting to realize, wait, uh, we need to uh, get involved there and see what's going on and maybe not vote for these people that are running around there with that flag. Apparently the World Economic Flag with their sustainable goals. Maybe we need to get uh, make sure that they're not getting back there again. 
like I've mentioned, the entire political system will have to change and the city council, the systems will have to change. I do believe that we're going to get fewer people for that. And they uh, will be voting on policies, not on people. But things will have to change. People have to understand that that has to change. But I think this is a good thing. People's perspectives are changing. People are connecting the dots, understanding things are connected. And like I've said, this is like showing that you are actually working with the great reset. You, you can't deny it anymore that that's not true. And that it's very, they have really infiltrated on all levels, city councils, in villages, in uh, big cities. It's very interesting that it's coming up, but I think it's going to bring people together, change perspective, and I think it will connect people on a dif different level and people will start talking to each other, especially city council level. It's, it's usually you do know a few that live around you, especially small villages. This is very, very interesting. But I think it's actually a good thing that this is coming out and they're showing themselves. So to me, there is a white hat influence there because the dark energies, their biggest uh, strength was that people didn't know they had that much influence. They've heard of the World Economic Forum. Maybe most of them don't even know about it, but it was never shown how much influence they have and that apparently city councils are following their goals, not even knowing what their true agenda is. So it's very, very interesting that these things are all coming out. So I'd like to leave it at this and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.